I got a cutting of Kalenkoe Fashion Koe Blue and you can see it's a long cutting. Now if I put it as it is in the soil, the plant will look laggy over time. But I want a bushy plant from this single cutting at an instant. So I'm going to propagate this cutting in three different ways and going to show how you can utilize such types of Kalenkoe cuttings. So let's begin. First is stem cutting. Now it's an easy and common way to propagate not only Kalenkois but also other types of plants. But the nodes of Kalenkois are very active in forming shoots and roots. I'm trying to say you can propagate this plant from a single node cutting. However, I'm going to cut this long cutting into two to three noded multiple cuttings. As growing media, I have taken only cocoa peat. Now cocoa peat not always will do great for you because it holds lots of water. I always forget to water my cuttings, that's why using cocoa peat. But you can use cactus soil or I have shared a cactus soil mix video. You can try that out, link in the description box. Then before inserting in soil, removing some of the lower leaves by twisting after preparing cuttings, you can leave them for about 1-2 to two days in order to callus over the cut areas. Or you can do like me, simply insert the cuttings into the soil and do not water for the next 2 days. So the cut points will get time to heal. Now the leaves of Kalenkois are also active in forming offsets and which will drive me to the next propagation method, which is leaf propagation. The petiole of this plant contains growth hormone. So whenever you are plucking the leaves, remove the leaves from the base by twisting carefully. But if the leaf broke, don't throw it out, just lay the broken leaf on the soil surface. The notches of the leaf will push out baby plants. So now I'm going to plant the leaves that I plucked out before. Inserting the petiole into the soil and it will produce roots and shoots from the petiole. So I planted all the leaves and cuttings in a single pot which will end up with a bushy plant. Next is propagating by offsets. Some Kalenkoi varieties produce offsets from the leaf notches. And for this, those types of Kalenkois are known as the mother of thousands plant. This one also forms offsets. You can see the offsets have healthy roots and they are ready to plant. So this is the update after 13 days. You can see the leaves I planted pushes lots of offsets. So gently collect the offsets from the plant. And make sure each offset has two to three roots. Now gently plant them in the growing media. Or sprinkle them over the soil. Then spray water and within one week they will be stable. And if I pull out a cutting, You can see it has developed very healthy roots. So when the cuttings will be rooted in, shift them to a sunny place and water when one third of the soil dries out. 